everyone. This is Brother Donnie, Country Homestead Preacher. Hope you're having a great day today in the Lord. Wanted to come. We was working on uh, the fencing here, uh, Jennifer and myself and the kids, and we're making a little day area uh, for our chickens. You can see the chicken coop right behind me. And we're uh, trying to make them a little free-range area just during the day, nothing to stay in all the time. And we purchased some, some plastic fencing just to try to cut cost and to use this the best way we can and as we was working on it Jennifer and I was talking this uh, this kind of reminds me that I'm putting the fence up so that I can protect the chickens from the predators on the outside of the fence but I'm also trying to keep the chickens inside a boundary and I know it's strange to get spiritual inspiration from a chicken coop but I believe that this fence is kind of like God's fence in our life. You know, he gives us the word and he sets boundaries in our life. The psalmist says that I have hidden your word in my heart so that I may not sin against God. And that's kind of like the boundaries he has placed in our life. Now, God's boundaries aren't like this old plastic fence in here. You can see it's kind of, it's, uh, it kind of goes anywhere it wants to go. It's just, it's, it's, it's just not very, uh, sturdy or stable God's boundaries based off of his own word is strong and is fast and is straight and it protects us from what is on the outside you know we as Christian families we try to put boundaries up for our children certain things they don't let get to watch on television certain things they don't listen to they certain places that we won't take our children to they certain people that we won't let our people uh, children be around and some people say, "Oh, you're just you're denying your children. They're going to grow up as uh, uh, they're going to grow up and be brainwashed and so forth." But it's our responsibility to protect our children from what's out there. And God builds that same kind of fencing in our own life based on His Word. Just like I'm trying to keep these chickens in, the Word of God keeps you in His boundaries. And the problem today, I believe, beloved, is that so many people are trying to extend God's boundaries and encompass a whole lot of things. Let me tell you something, when the Bible says, if you know to do right and don't do it to you, it's sin, that ought to make you think about every single thing that we're doing in our life. And we live in such a liberal uh, society where truth is fluid. In other words, you have sub subjective truth and you have objective truth. And subjective truth is fluid. It's subject to my own interpretation, whereas objective truth is solid. Now, we know God's truth is solid, but too many people today are making it fluid. Well, it's up to my interpretation. I'll help God set the boundaries in my life. We have liberty. He don't mind me doing this stuff, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to tell you, if you read it in his word, that means it's a boundary in our life. Well, I hope this word has blessed you today. I know it's not a very long uh, little uh, session uh, this afternoon, but I'll try to get back in Colossians tomorrow. I do hope you spend some time with your family, certainly spend some time in God's word, spend some time with God's people. And if I can do anything for you, if you'll simply email me or if you will subscribe or send it to somebody that may be blessed, I would certainly be appreciative. Until I talk to you next time, this is Brother Donnie, Country Homestead Preacher, and we're trying to change the world one verse at a time.